Blaine Jeffrey with Flyboard Magazine, and I'm here in Doha, Qatar for the Flyboard World Cup 2013, and I'm here with Damon Rippey. I think you're the youngest competitor in the field. Uh, I think so, yes. How old are you? 15. 15 years old. He's up against 72 other pro flyboarders, and uh, let's get to know him a little bit here. Tell us a little bit, how would you describe your, uh, your flying style? My flying style, I would say that it's a little bit different from everyone else's. I like to combine tricks, and I like to just try to make them for me, I don't just do a trick and get it okay and then move on to a different trick. I try to conquer that trick and then I move on to a different one. Yeah. I try to master that trick and then move on to different ones so I know that I can do that trick. Consistency, nail right, it every yes. time. Like for the back flip, at first I was taking them long, but now I've tightened my flip and I can do it a lot better. And so the way I've asked the, a couple of the other riders, you've got a minute and 30 seconds to impress these judges on right. the qualifying run. Um, is there one moment in your routine where that has you maybe a little bit nervous or something where you're like, if I nail that part, then I'm good? I feel like towards the end is when is the most nerve wracking for me because that's what it's going to, I think that's what's going to be the best part, honestly. Like, it's just, I'm doing, I'm leading up to the end. I'm doing tricks that are leading up to the end. Sure. And, uh. So I feel like if I nail the end part, then that's what's going to like wow them and say, he's good. He, we should let him move on and are you doing it to music too are you using I music am, as a I'm, guide well i'm listening to uh waterproof earbuds that i have yeah i'm listening to a certain song so that'll give you that minute 30 right, right out yeah. you know where how where yeah. you are in the song right um that's awesome um so how did you get into it i know you you had a buddy who had a birthday party or something and you got it to try it yeah, when was so that I, um i've actually been flying right now for about uh nine months now because i was at a friend's birthday party he had a flyboard and i was like oh i want to try this seems awesome so I tried it and I just picked up on it really well. I got up probably, I'd say five, 10 feet my first time. It was it was pretty good. So after that, then I went to the Aquafly, which is what we run down in Austin. That's our rental operation. And um, I started off just helping. I wasn't working there. I was just helping, just helping out as a dock hand. And then after that happened, he was like, all right, well, I want to offer you a job. So he did. I started working for them and he's like, well, let's see what you can do out on the board. And so I showed him and he was like, I like you. I want, I want to keep you. So <laughs> it was it was pretty cool. It, it it happened really fast, which is awesome for me, I guess. Yeah, well, I know you're a big football star and then you get you get this as like this right, is a, yeah. if you find your passion, you know, and you can run with it and you get the opportunity. That's pretty yeah. great. Well, I mean, I think I picked up on this sport so quickly because before we lived in Colorado and I snowboarded quite a bit there too. So I just feel like I picked up on the foot technique and being able to like move around on the board as good as I would on a snowboard for sure one last question for you um, you know <laughs> we got Frankie Zapata the inventor of the flyboard yeah. doing backflips and doing all kinds of uh, flying behind us here um, other than him though because everybody's got their eye on him is there any other riders that you've been keeping an eye on that you kind of gauge yourself against or you or you or you like the way they fly um, Caleb Gavick and Aaron Gould because I've seen Aaron Gould's double yep. that that I've been gauging myself on about how good I can try to work on my double as well. And Caleb Gavick, he went to the North American flyboard. So I saw him do some of his tricks and I was like, all right, well, I want to try to master those tricks as well. So I've been really throwing in, I've been more combining tricks of my own and stuff more than I have been just doing individual tricks. Sure. So that's what I hope everyone can see is that I'm trying to join tricks together to make them that much better. And do you find, do you have something that's sort of unique that's your very own that maybe is a variation that not, you know nobody else is doing right now or well or is it just the combination that you're well trying? i do i do a bunch of combinations and i mean i can like i do a certain type of spins and type of stuff that are really fast and i do a lot of those so that's i don't see most people doing a bunch of spins i only see them doing like three or four when i can do a couple more than that cool well i'm looking forward to seeing you fly yeah, man thanks i'm for, really excited yeah thanks for taking the time for flyboard magazine and uh yeah keep an eye on this page uh, we're gonna have a lot more action coming to you